Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I am going to be sharing six summer dresses with you and ways that I would style them. So I'm going to show you the dresses and then I'm going to shift to the side in a minute so I can also insert um, a little filmage of me wearing the outfits. So they'll also be over on my IGTV channel. So that is actual butt trick. Over on Instagram, if you want to follow me there, I have daily posts, more updates, more outfits. So if you like what I wear and you're into fashion, uh, come and connect with me over there and say hey. Um, and yeah, so let's kick into today's summer dresses. These are all affordable dresses from the high street or online high street retailers. And I'm going to start, I'll try and do it in order with the way that I wore them. I've actually got a really bad heartburn, which I've never had before, which is literally coming all the way up there. So... Ugh, nasty. There we go, I've shifted across so we can have some inserts. Uh, but the first dress is a new look dress and it's a really cute milkmaid style vibe top. I'm loving like milkmaid vibes at the moment. I think they're really flattering on the bust. I think they're really feminine as well. So this is a midi slash maxi dress um, and it's like we say prairie style a little bit around the top and it's just so loose, so comfortable. I paired this dress with my gorgeous new Daniel sandals. They have stunning detail all over them. They're nude, real leather, I think they're about £130. I'm size 8, sometimes a little on the larger side, but these fit me perfectly. They're the 41s, very like the Valentinos, obviously a cheap price. Really comfortable, practical heel, and I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of these. I cannot wait to wear them to the wedding I have in August. So I thought I would pair the pink and the pink together. And to complete the look with my bag, my cute Topshop basket bag, I keep on sharing with you, but it's not available. I'm sorry, guys. I will link some similar Nasty Gal affordable ones in the description box below, along with find everything else featured in this video. Next up is a kind of tea wrap-over dress. I really wanted one to pair with um, espadrilles or like chunky shoes and I have one from Amazon Find. I actually sized up to a size 10 because they didn't have a size 8 available. It's in this, um, what's that detailed material called again? It's in the material that has the holes for it. I've completely had a mind blank as to what you call this. In a really nice crisp white with lovely frills. I think I need a 10 for like around the bust area but then it's a little bit big around the bottom half so it depends where you're heavier, top or bottom, but maybe you might need to try both sizes. In. I maybe need an eight, but that might be a bit tight across the bust. So that's the problem that you get with dresses, isn't it, really? They kind of just accommodate to one size rather than, well, I'm a ten up top, but an eight at the bottom kind of thing. Whereas with trousers and tops, you can mix and match. I wore that with my Superga trainers, the Raffia Wedged ones. I've had these for a couple of years and I thought I'd bring them back out because they're so summery, they're still available now. And I just love how the Raffia of the shoes can tie in with a Raffia bag. And I use my next shopping bag for this look. The next dress I'm actually wearing, it is this beautiful um, gingham warehouse midi dress. It buttons all the way up so that's how you come into it. Again it's a little bit tighter for me across the chest here uh, but the back detailing when you see in the video, the back detailing you can tie the back so you can alter it to fit your bust. I got this in size 8, everywhere else fits really well. Again it's just the bust. I'll leave my measurements down below. I have a 32 double D bust, 26 and a half inch waist and 37 inch hips. Um, but I tend to be in between an 8 and a 10 depending on the brand. But yeah, I really love the frilled details on this. It looks so cute, perfect for a picnic, and I would definitely wear this with a pair of espadrilles as well. Next is moving into a little bit foreign territory. I don't tend to wear short skirts anymore. Maybe it's an age thing. If you're in your 20s, or whatever age, and your legs look amazing, then go for it. But I have quite a lot of spider veins on my thighs I'm conscious of. I don't really like going out in too many short things. It's only really on holiday that I would wear short things or on a night out where I can foundation up my thighs. But this is from In The Style. I am in love, though, with the top half, with the kind of romantic corset detailing, ruched, puffed sleeves. Um, I'm tempted to see if my mum can cut it for me and make it into a top, or I would actually pair a midi skirt over the top of this so you can still get the top half. I'm just not so keen on how short it is, but I'm five foot nine, so obviously if you're more petite, then it will be longer on you. Just depends on your preference for lengths of dresses. To dress it down for day wear, I paired it with my Balenciaga trainers. Just something about chunky trainers that I love. Obviously, they don't have to be designer. I did do a video on the best Balenciaga Triple S chunky trainer dupes. 
So I shall leave that link for you guys. And yeah, that's the least favourite of the dresses, just personally for me and you know my preference. But I thought I would include it because obviously everybody loves different things and not all of you will love maxi dresses as well. So moving on to maxis, I've never really been a maxi dress person until this year for some reason. I've always just felt a little bit out of place in a long dress um, and not very feminine. So I'm they're experimenting with styles. Like I love the midi dresses, like I love that new one that I showed you, but going out in public in it for the first time, I'll maybe feel a little bit conscious until I kind of just get used to wearing more longer styles. And I have a maxi dress, and believe it or not, this is from Miss Garden, and I absolutely love this. It comes in small to medium and medium to large. And I have a small to medium, you'll see it better on me, and it is a gorgeous white. Is it brodery, brodery on glitz, or whatever you call it? Again, similar material to the wrap dress uh, with holes in it. And it's really big, really swishy. This would be great on a really hot day. Looks really cool, paired with chunky sandals. I put it with my um, Gladiator chunky Doc Martin sandals. It would also go great with Tina sandals, but I will leave a couple of options linked below. The only thing that bugs me about this dress is that it's a double lined kind of from the bust to just under your bum so your bits and your bum are covered but what about your breasts you can literally see nipples through it and i don't really own that many white brows i think i own one a lounge underwear one which is so comfy but it's always in the wash because i only have one white bra so in the video i'm wearing it with a pink bra so apologies if you see my bra for it but i do absolutely love this dress i'm going to make james take some photos of it so if those have already been taken some street style shots i shall include them for you as well Oh my god, this heartburn is literally... So, please excuse me. But I'm on to the final dress, so I can switch the camera off soon. And it is from Joni Clothing. Like, they're very vintage inspired. So, being completely honest, on the website, there wasn't that many things that I would personally wear. But when it comes to prints, I prefer things to be quite muted. And I'm not really into retro things so much. I like a little taste of them here and there, uh, but I did find this gorgeous dress and it's a lovely tea dress in a lovely floral pattern print and it's embellished with pearl buttons, if you can see. So for this look, I decided to pair it with my pearl hair clips. These ones are from Next, I think. I did a blog post actually on the hair slide trends with loads like in your hair. I'll leave a picture here on the screen. I will also leave that blog post linked. Um, so this dress is from Jamie Dress. I, Jamie Dress. Jenny clothing, and I styled it up with my Topshop strippy sandals. It would not be a video, styling video without featuring these. If you do follow my Instagram, you've probably seen these featured in each or most of my multiple look style videos because I just love them. They're so on trend, so fashionable, they're so 90s, they're so simple, um, and they also have a really manageable heel. So I've styled it with those just for more of maybe like a day to night look, and the bag. I forgot to share the bag with you from the last look. So the bag in the last look and this look are the same but different colourways. And it's a new bag from Topshop. I do have the tags still stuffed in them because they just arrived today and I'm only going to be keeping one of them, which is a question I asked over on my Instagram stories. So where is this in the bag? Here we go. In a future video, you will see which one I kept because I'm only going to be keeping the one. But it is this gorgeous Topshop bag. It was new in, I ordered it yesterday, and it came today when I happened to be filming. And for me, it just ticks all the boxes for a Chloe bag alternative. Um, I didn't know if to keep the black or the tan though. So this is the black version worn with the Joni dress. And then this is the brown version that has been worn with the misguided long dress. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love them. I think maybe this one I might keep. I don't have a tan bag but because it also ties in black that I wear a lot, it's maybe perfect, although I do love the black one, it's so chic, but as you can see behind me, I've got my YSL bag that's quite similar, and I've got a thing against faux suede. I don't know what it is, I just think micro suede can look a bit cheap, and that is micro suede, whereas this is faux leather all the way around, and it's just something a little bit different for me, so maybe comment in the video as well, down below, and let me know which of those Topshop bags are your favourite. Right, I've shifted back to the middle now because that is the end of my summer dresses video. I hope you guys have found it helpful if you've been looking for a summer dress or 
like a versatile dress that can be worn different ways and I hope you like the ways that I style them up as well. If you're new to my channel I'm trying to make more content, I would love if you subscribed. I love filming fashion videos. So to have you join me on this little journey would be absolutely amazing. So please do go and support by clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you have notifications clicked so you know when I get a new video as well by clicking the little bell. And yeah, just say hi, let me know that you're new to my channel and also anything that you might like to see from me. But thank you for watching. I'll see you guys very soon for a new video. Bye guys.